In this video, we're going to show you how to set up Azure AD Connect for your Office 365 tenancy. As you can see here, I do have a blank Office 365 tenancy where only my global administrator is currently set up. From here in the Office 365 tenancy, to begin the process of synchronizing your local on-prem AD, you're going to want to download the Office 365 AD Connect package from Microsoft. The package from Microsoft can be found at the link that I'm providing here in the description of this video as well as right here on screen. You should be able to find AD Connect, the MSI package, from any web browser and any search engine just by looking for it. After clicking on the link, this would be the download page that you would view and then download Azure Active Directory Connect. We are now going to proceed with the installation. The installation is fairly straightforward. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but you do want to agree to the license terms. Here you have the option to synchronize using their express settings, which is what Microsoft recommends, or you can customize it if you have a very particular environment. I'm going to use express here for our test lab. After clicking on express settings, here is where you're going to put in your global administrator account. That's going to be the first one that you create in your Office 365 tenancy. So every account has one. And this is going to be the account that you use to sign into your local Active Directory. This is so that the synchronization service can go retrieve all of those user objects and security group objects and then bring those into Office 365 for you. One thing to note is this account does need to be in the Enterprise Administrator group. That's the built-in Enterprise Administrator group of your local AD. The built-in administrator of your local Active Directory will be in this group by default. If you're like me and use a test lab with a subdomain prefix, then go ahead and click on the UPN suffix was, will not match. This way you could still sync all of your objects and you can come and clean up the suffix a little bit later in your Office 365 maturity. Here you have the option to start an initial synchronization as soon as this installation finishes. I'm going to uncheck this box because I want to show you how to use PowerShell to actually trigger this initial synchronization and any other Delta or change-based synchronizations later on. This installation will take a moment. With our configuration complete, we're going to hit exit and get out of here right now. And we do want to use PowerShell to initialize that first synchronization to Office 365 because right now, no objects from our local on-prem have been synced yet. After the installation of your AD Sync synchronization service, PowerShell will have a newly installed module. That module is going to be the AD Sync module. You could check if it's installed by running the following command. And right here near the bottom, you can see that there are a couple of different modules that are installed. The one that we're going to focus on is the AD Sync module. You have a couple of different options with this commandlet. It's the start AD Sync sync cycle. You're going to sound a little redundant when you say it out loud. The policy type is going to be the type of synchronization that you want to run. The initial is going to be a full synchronization, full cycle of that. And then there's also a delta option, which would be only the changes you've made to your local Active Directory since the last synchronization. We're going to do the initial since we did not complete that as part of our installation process. We could check that this policy is running and has run by looking at the synchronization service logs. Here in our logs, you can see that the full synchronization that we just kicked off with PowerShell is showing as it has successfully completed, as well as the new exported attributes. And here you can see in the ads section of the export statistics that we added 15 new objects to our Office 365 tenancy. Let's check out our work. If we come here to our Office 365 Admin Center and refresh the page, you can now see that all of these additional newly synced objects are available for licensing for use in Office 365. I hope that this video has helped you with your synchronization of your local AD in cloud, and thank you for watching.